Hey Audacious Church, it's amazing to be speaking to you and sharing God's word with you today. My name is Sarah and I serve on the amazing kids team at our central location in Manchester. I'm going to be sharing with you a verse that's really significant to me. It has been throughout my life and particularly in this season. It's from Psalm 18 verse 19. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. I actually highlighted this verse in the first adult Bible I owned as a teenager after I'd given my life to Christ. I was in complete awe by the fact that I was a child of God and that God loved me so much that he delighted in me. Just let that soak in for a moment, that the God of all the world, the creator of heaven and earth, delights in you. Wow. You know that feeling when someone delights in you. It's like a mother or father watching their child's first steps. It's like the scenes that we see in airports across the world when families are reunited with each other after spending time apart. For me, both of those images have arms stretched out and faces awashed with love. Longitude studies into mattering have been over undertaken and they basically show that for children and indeed for us as adults, to have a sense of well-being, we need to matter to someone. We need to feel that sense of belonging. And this verse shows us that we have that, that we matter to God so much that he delights in us. David wrote this psalm as a song of thanksgiving to God after he was saved from his enemies and from Saul. I don't know what you're walking through right now, but I do know that our God is a rescuer, that he's rescued us from a life of sin and he rescues us from our enemies. I want to encourage you that if you find yourself in need of being rescued, regardless of how big your enemies are, that our God is bigger and he will rescue you. I sometimes think, and especially when I was younger, that I was, you know, guilty of neglecting the first part of the verse because I was just so overwhelmed by the first last two parts. But David talks about the fact that God brings us into a spacious place. A spacious place to me is somewhere that we can breathe and somewhere that we can dream. A space where we're not hemmed in by restrictions or limitations. God has rescued us to be free indeed, as it says in John 8 verse 36, and also to live life in all its fullness, as it says in John 10.10. 10. When I think of a spacious place, I'm also reminded of an open heaven where we have all the resources in heaven. Let's make full advantage of this spacious place today, for God's praise and glory. Have an awesome day. Love you.